from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big Monday morning on Early Mornings LA with an incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today. In this recording, we'll be going over that monthly stimulus check the Democrats still want you to have. And we'll be going over the two path process that involves one, the recon in your stimulus, and two, the bipartisan agreement. And third, we'll be going over the shocking developing details that unfolded on Sunday. It's all wonderful news as the protection for your recon and your stimulus gets underway. And then we turn to fist stimulus, which heats up this fall with another stimulus check and also the incredible lift of your benefits. And then in the middle of the recording, we go over the thousands of dollars of viewers continue to get. One viewer getting 10,000, another 12,000 in the last few days. It's a big morning. It's a big early morning. I'm excited for you and all the incredible details. Let's get to the money. Let's get to the food. The toast is toasting. The butter is buttering. I'm here. You're here. And it's time for early mornings. Alouette. Monday morning. Hope you, hope you had a beautiful weekend. How's the weather where you are today? Jump in the live chat right now and tell me how the weather is and where you're tuning in from. It is cooler today. Yesterday was surprising because Sunday morning, it started really hot here in LA. And then by middle of the day, it got cooler. Thank goodness. So I hope you have beautiful weather where you, you are right now. Jump in the live chat and tell me where you are and how's the weather. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, we're going to be going over that monthly stimulus check the Democrats still want you to have. That's the first update in this video. Then the second part, we go over the two-path process and why that two-path process is wonderful because now all your relief is getting a very clear identity for itself. And then the third part of this video, we go over the breaking news about what the president backed, walked back on, but what he walked forward on, forward on something else. It all helped you, and it's all great news as well. Then the second half of this video, we go over fist stimulus, which raises your benefits up a lifetime and applies a new benchmark. And finally, we get some big money across the board. This is Ally, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel in America, live in the morning and taped in the afternoons. At the time of this recording, also airing is Overnight's Crypto. Right after this show is over, it'll automatically take you into that live show now airing on the channel. And next up is Mornings LA at 9 a.m. live, followed by 11 a.m.'s noontime. So subscribe, 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. I want you part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button and jump into the live chat. Also, like this video. Every like helps. It also delivers a pinata. And consider becoming a member. Membership links at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Let's get right into that monthly stimulus check. The Democrats have two approaches to it, whether you're looking at the House or you're looking at the Senate. Slightly different based upon number of checks and based upon the amount of the checks. House bill from Jalapal is pandemic plus one year. Senate is stimulus checks from July to December. Interesting. Let's go over the monthly payouts. So the monthly payouts differ as well. The monthly payouts are the following. From the House, 2000, first month, $1,000 thereafter. Senate, the monthly payout is unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Wow, now that's deliciousness. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000 a person. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400 a person. Now, before we go over that a little bit more. Let's look back at this. Pandemic plus one year, well, legislators may contend the pandemic is over and that that reduces you to just one year checks. One year checks from the House. How does that play out compared to the Senate? Jump in the live chat and vote House or Senate in one second from now and tell me where you're tuning in from. But let's go over this. If this reduces the House to just 12 months of checks, that's $13,000 over 12 months. Compare that to the Senate over six months and this, <laughs> I think you have an opinion. I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now and vote House or Senate. House or Senate, tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather.
There you go. Who gets that fourth stimulus check? You do. Democrats represent everyone who got a third stimulus check would get a fourth stimulus check. Single individuals, 75000 or less, Democrats would give you a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150000 or less, Democrats would give you a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family of four, Democrats would give you a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on, S if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, or Veterans Benefits, Democrats would give you a fourth stimulus check. Congratulations. The fourth stimulus check would be the same amount for everyone. The fourth stimulus check is not income. It's not taxable. And the fourth stimulus check comes monthly. It does not come in waves. So if you see the check at the water cooler at work this morning and say, hey, check, how are you? Did you have a good weekend? And check doesn't wave back. Don't say it's a rude check. It's just a thirsty check. You need some more water. You're a little thirsty, aren't you? It's just not. It's just not a waveable check. It's just. Hope you enjoy your cubicle today. I'm going to my office with a view. So there. Don't take it out on the check. It's just you know. There you go. The fourth stimulus check. The room with the view. And the corner room with the view. The fourth stimulus check is not a waveable check, but it would land on the month of July for the month of July. It may be thirsty, but it's landing on the month of July for the month of July. It would land on the month of August for the month of August. And the fourth stimulus check would go to, I don't know, the thing about the view or the, the corner room. Yeah, you don't like your corner. You enjoy your cubicle over there, thirsty check. And the fourth stimulus check would be. We would go through a file vote by July 4th, the Democrats represent. And there you go. That is the first of your three parts of your fourth stimulus check update in 2021. In the second part, we go over the breaking news that really took an interesting turn this weekend. As the two-path process, the recon and the bipartisanship took an interesting twist. With recon, your money get its real own identity, finally, and a fourth. I have all the details on that. In the third part of this video, we'll be going over the voting process, getting a very t interesting twist. But here's a preview of the second half of this video. It's fifth stimulus, and it heats up this fall with another stimulus check. It also heats up with raising up your benefits. But we have breaking news about this and why your benefits could be a lot more. Wow. But now let's get some money. <laughs> it's Money Monday. And wow, we get money on this channel, though, every day. We've been doing it since last year. That's what I do on this channel. This channel is not about you looking to see what day a check is in your mailbox in the month of July. It's for you to figure out how to get tens of thousands of dollars today in your bank account. And I've been doing that since day one. I got viewers $25 million of EIDL loans last year to save their businesses, their homes, and their employees' homes. But then fall of 2020, we were waiting for second stimulus to pass, and it was not passing. And just like now, when we're waiting for fourth stimulus, I got viewers then a quarter million dollars for rent, like Tyrone, for $15,000 for a family four in Boston for rent. Well, it's time to get that money right now. So get a pen and paper ready. And I'm going to go over the big money you can get right now. It's third stimulus, and it's rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and utility, and mortgage and homeowners utilities. And there's different places you're going to get the money from. So if one says no, reach out to the next. And we're going to go over all those incredible details starting right now. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, your county house authority, your state hall, your state house authority. And the key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. You don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or um, Mitch's uh, aerobics ensemble. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't want to know that. It just No, I don't want to know that. <laughs> And there you go. The rent is a lot of money. It's about $5,000. Four to six months of rent is what I've been telling viewers. But last week, two viewers disproved me. They got $10,000. Another viewer got $12,000. One viewer, Nisi, got a lot of money as well. Tim and Linda got this money additionally. But boy, if you got in a penny from this channel, jump in the live chat right now because every comment you deliver inspires someone else. And if you commented before, comment again because every time we see people getting money, it inspires us to do the same and inspires someone else to pick up that phone today and get that money. The next pot of the money is wonderful, and it's SNAP. One viewer two weeks ago got $5,000. The week before that, one viewer got six to $7,000. What is SNAP? It is money for food from Department of Agriculture. Reach out to the Department of Agriculture to get this money. How much does it pay? A lot. A family of four in Hawaii gets upwards of $16,000 a year now. Wow. Why so much money? Because of two executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. Lynn Glenn got it for herself and her son and her mom. Gail got it as well. And boy, you're killing it. I'm killing it. $15,000 for staff for a family of four in Hawaii. 
uh, five thousand dollars for rent, and we're only ten minutes of the video. We're all killing it. But you with that water over there, you need to stop drinking so much. You're getting, you're not killing the water. You're killing the water. <laughs> Leave the check alone. Uh, and boy, we got more money, and it's starting right now. One viewer got $5,000 for it, and what is it? It's money coming back from your states. The states have been ordered to return money back to you that they overpaid you initially due to unemployment benefits. Well, the federal government said, no, it was your money to have and more money, your money to keep. So the states are returning the money back to you. Where? Direct deposit to the account you have on file of your state. When? Reach out to your respective states for routing times. And when you do, call them up and say, hey, where's my check due to computer error? And can you track it with a computer that actually works? <laughs> and finally, our last pot of the money is wonderful. It's coming back from IRS. Market got it. Cod got it. Michael got it. And if you got it as well, jump in the live chat. How much money is it? It's a lot. Let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You paid $5,000 of taxes to IRS, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, getting back $4,000. When? This month. Where? Either direct deposit, if that was set up, or to the account, to the mailbox. Can you track it? Yeah, about 70% of the time you can. Go to irs.gov, set up a username and password, and go in there and do a transcript search. And you'll be surprised the information you can get, stuff you never knew existed. Like you'll know when you filed that tax return, the taxes you paid. Um, how? What is Mitch's secret lemon sauce that he serves with lobster? <clears throat> Also, why is $12 ice cream so tasteless? <laughs> and then finally, it will reveal when you're getting back your check from IRS. Wow, and that's wonderful news. Can we top that? And we can. With the second part of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021, starting right now, this Monday. Boy, there is some big developing details. A week ago today, your stimulus was in a recon. And today, your stimulus is still a recon. Well, then what changed? Nothing for you. Stuff that doesn't concern you got changed. Over the last three weeks, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer were secretly meeting with the president, saying this, the recon's a little too bloated, and we need to spin some stuff off. Not your and my stuff, other stuff. It was sort of like a TV sitcom that had too many stars, and they wanted to send one of those stars to their own spinoff show. And finally, last Wednesday, they met again. Pelosi, Schumer, and the president, and they said, now's the time. Let's do a spinoff, and let's send roads and bridges to that spinoff and keep everything else where it is right now in the show. And they did that, and that became the original recon and the new spinoff, Bipartisan. The Bipartisan is a spinoff of other stuff, not your stuff. What is in the Bipartisan spinoff? Roads and bridges, not your stuff. Your stuff is still in the recon. For stimulus, checks, climate, cares, economy, all that progressive deliciousness. So, we started two weeks ago. Well, we had up to up to last week one path, just recon. Now we have recon spinning off the roads and bridges to a spinoff called bipartisan. Again, the bipartisan has stuff that does not concern you. Roads and bridges don't really care about it. Don't sell me a bridge. I don't want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> and then your stuff, Recon, is still where it is. In Recon, for stimulus, checks, climate, cares economy. Your checks from Jalal Paul, progressive policy. The president's climate, progressive policy. The president cares economy, progressive policy. Money for children and money for seniors and money for medicine. All progressiveness in there. Two paths which would eventually, but not yet, become three bills. The recon procedural, the recon substantive, and the recon bipartisan. So there you go. What became a very interesting twist over the weekend is whether the two are linked, tandemed, or whether they're not linked. On Thursday, the president announced that the two things he wanted, both of them, to get passed at the same time. And they wanted them to both come to his office and land on his desk at the same time. But over the weekend, or excuse me, but over Thursday, he said one key word, veto, which caused a lot of confusion. And on Sunday, he walked back his comments, but walked other comments forward. So what was that developing detail? That's coming up in the second half of this video. 
and excuse me, in the third part of this Force Too Much Check update. But why is this recon so delicious right now? Because suddenly, the thing that was tarnishing you and confusing the narrative is gone. How many days, how many weeks, how many trolls, how many negative comments were there going to be from people saying, it's only about roads and bridges? No. It was always about recon plus roads and bridges. But for some reason, the roads and bridges got all the publicity. Well, finally, the roads and bridges have their own TV show. Bipartisan. And all of us over in the recon can finally get our identity because we have nothing to do anymore with roads and those darn bridges. <laughs> so if you hear anyone coming up to you at the water cooler and say, it's only about roads and bridges. No, that's not no longer us. We kicked them to the curb, but they're out of our show. They got their own TV show. The roads and the bridges are down the street in another TV show. We are pure recon. So suddenly the identity of recon got a lot stronger because now it is social reform and only social reform. Stimulus, 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 stimulus. That's all it is. Also, it got a fort. It got a beautiful fort, like a Middle Ages, Middle Age times, um, or, or bank, a bank vault fort around it, that recon. Because suddenly, everyone's protecting the recon. Because it's where all the big things are for the progressives and for the president. And who gave us that spoiler of this potentially happening? Jalapal. Two Fridays ago, Jalapal tipped us off. When Jalapal said that she had gotten the support of the president continue to continue to provide the support to protect the recon. He had said, thank you for continually protecting my recon. And Brian Schott said, the progressive the, was told that the White House said the progressive policies of the four stimulus are the White House's priorities. Priorities, meaning number one, meaning thank you for protecting the fort of Ruricon. So in a way, the twists and turns of last Thursday helped us twofold. One, gave your recon a lot more identity. No longer can someone say your stimulus is just about roads and bridges. No, it was never about only roads and bridges, but we, now it has nothing to do with roads and bridges because they're out of the recon. <laughs> Second, it gives your recon a lot of real support because suddenly all those progressives are surrounding that recon like it's gold, like it's diamond and myrrh to make sure it gets to the finish line because they're piling all the progressive policies in there. And it's all progressive and democratic. So there you go. In the third part of this video, we'll be going over the voting process, which got an interesting twist. But how do we get to the straight spot? From Jalapal, of course. Jalapal had written Chuck a letter and said, Chuck, call the vote on the recon. But the letter was co-signed by 12 House Democrats from among the 100 plus House Democrats who had written the president a letter a week earlier saying, Mr. President, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in that four stimulus package. Wow, now that's wonderful news. Can we top that? Yes. As seven House Democrats wrote the president a letter about a week ago saying, when we write for stimulus checks, we're going to be putting them in the monthly, monthly in the four stimulus package. Who are they? They're on the House subcommittee, and they are responsible for writing stimulus checks in America. They wrote your first stimulus check, your second stimulus check, your third stimulus check, and they represent they're currently writing your fourth stimulus check. Wow, now that's wonderful news. Can we top that? Yes, they also represent they're writing your fifth stimulus check. Oh my goodness. Can we top that? Yes. As the president has now anchored to the edge of the finish line for stimulus recon because he's he has now achieved an international agreement about corporate taxes. Now remember, whenever we talked about taxes, taxes was for the recon, not for the bipartisan. De Republicans don't want to touch taxes. Taxes was to pay for the recon. And now, in something that seems so well prepared out, the president has gotten recon to the edge of the finish line by getting something done internationally. Two weeks, two Tuesdays ago, he went overseas to get those countries to sign on the dotted line to raise the minimum corporate tax rate. By raising the minimum corporate tax rate, it makes it easier to pass for stimulus, which is paid for by raising corporate taxes. Now the president's anchoring for stimulus to the edge of the finish line by making it easier for the Democratic caucus to pass the recon stimulus because no longer are provisions about international taxes need to be covered in for stimulus. Recon, 
They're in the international agreement. This is all recon, recon, and recon, and has nothing to do with the bipartisanship. Sounds like it was plotted out a long time ago. That's exactly what they said. Three weeks ago is when Schumer, Pelosi, and, and the president plotted this out. We're just hearing about it now. And there you go. Can we top that? We can with the third big update about four stimulus coming up in the second part of this video. And the huge news about fist stimulus with another stimulus check. But can we top that? We can. With the volunteers. If you need help with rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, or SNAP, reach out to the volunteers. They truly embody the Purple Power Spirit. They can help you get that money. Go to the description of this video. Go down the description. You'll find an emoji. Next to that emoji is a link to the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. On the community page, you'll see the volunteers under a picture of some cats. Reach out to them, and they'll help you get rent, utilities, mortgage, and also internet and SNAP. They cannot cook you a tostada. They cannot deliver you a daiquiri. <laughs> they cannot give you directions to Nancy's hairstylist, but they can get you all that other stuff. And here's a little bit about them. I'll be back in 60 seconds with more exciting details about four stimulus and fifth stimulus. Breaking news you can hear for the first time on this early morning's broadcast coming right after this commercial break. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues on this, on this early morning's broadcast with the second part of the exciting news. Four stimulus heats up with a big twist from the White House. And I have all the breaking news you can hear for the first time on this early morning's broadcast right now. We also heat up with fifth stimulus with another stimulus check and the raising up of your benefits. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now and jump into the live chat. Also, like this video. Two, 3,000 likes. Every like helps and also delivers a pinto and consider becoming a member after this video stay with it it'll automatically take you into overnight's crypto currently airing live on the channel let's turn to fifth stimulus which has so much wonderful breaking news about this across the board we're gonna see more about this this week fifth stimulus is not only raising up of your benefits but also a fifth stimulus check those house democrat those house republicans that are you detail which i detailed early in this video will also be providing you a fifth stimulus check. This will be January 2022. The legislative effort will start in September and it will be done by November, December. Great news with that. Second, the president has dedicated $1 billion to the Social Security Administration to ensure your benefits are paid out on time going forward. So these are all my SSI and SSDI viewers who got third stimulus checks late, no longer have to worry about this. Taking care of the situation before fourth stimulus, fifth stimulus, and future checks. Finally, we got the great news that your benefits, which are anchored and tied to a new benchmark of inflation, will see that benchmark reach its highest spot in December, which was exactly when we wanted to see it. The news, Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve. It's wonderful news because under fifth stimulus, we're raising benefits up and applying a new benchmark. That benchmark is inflation. And Jay Powell's other comment is that we need more stimulus for this economy, for fourth stimulus and for fifth stimulus, and the inflation rate will be at its highest point later this year, 
OMG, let's get to the details right now. Under this SSI and SSDI reform, they'll first raise your benefit limits up. Then they will imply an inflationary benchmark. They'll remove the asset limit, and then they'll remove the income exclusion and remove the marriage penalty. Let's go over how this calculates starting right now. First, they'll raise your benefits up one time. This is you. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, or SSA or Multiple Benefits, then they'll apply a benchmark. What is that benchmark? Inflation. You understand that. You also understand the benchmark is applied in December. And you understand that a benchmark determines how much your benefits go up next year. Well, you also now know that inflation is going higher. And finally, Jay Powell tells us it's reaching its highest spot in December when they apply your benchmark. Wow. So how high? A lot of Wall Street saying 10%. Currently 4% heading to 10%. Let's use that example. Your benefits would step up not just 10% for next year, but lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. Wow, that is wonderful news. If the inflation rate a year from now is 1%, then you'll be a plus one, plus 10%. It's just incredible. Next, they're going to remove the asset cap. It's dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't stay on, you can't have more than $3,000 in hand and also stay on benefits. Just in time to get some stimulus checks in that hand and a nice taco. <laughs> they're going to remove the income exclusion that prevents you from working and staying on benefits. Now you'll be able to work if you wish. And finally, they're going to end the marriage penalty. Love is going to win and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. No longer fear loss of benefits and get married and no longer be penalized. Viewers like Rob and Sandy will no longer fear the marriage penalty. And there you go. That is fifth stimulus. But how are these viewers getting all this big money? We had one viewer get $10,000 for rent last week. Another viewer get $12,000 for rent last week. We had viewers get $5,000 to $7,000 a snap in the last two weeks. How are they doing it? They're becoming a member. The member link is at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Members understand the value of membership because I send them all the details of what's in third stimulus. If you're new to this channel, and all you want to know is when you're getting a stimulus check, you are approaching these stimulus packages incorrectly. Because third stimulus sent out a $14 stimulus check, but also had five to $15,000 for you. Which one do you like? $15,000 or $1,400? I think you like the $1,500, $15,000. And so what do you get? You get the opportunity to apply by application based to all these items that the president and the Congress gave to you under third stimulus. Go get it. As a member, I break down all the details to you daily in PDS from the community page on YouTube, what you can get under third stimulus and potentially under fourth and fifth stimulus. So consider becoming a member. Which brings us to the final big finale of our fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today. Early in this video, we went over that while a week ago today, we were only a recon, now we're a recon and a bipartisan. With Roads and Bridges, which doesn't concern you, spun off into that spinoff show, a bipartisan. That all your stuff is still in the recon. So are these two paths tied together? Linked? Tandem? Well, that question became a big issue Thursday. When the president announced the two paths, but then later in the day said, well, if you send me the bipartisan to sign as a law, but don't send me the recon, I will veto it. <laughs> Lately thereafter, his press secretary said, if you try to mess with the recon and only send the bipartisan to the president, good luck with that. Well, on Saturday and Sunday, the president walked back that sentence, but walked something else forward. What did he say? He said, it didn't make sense for me to say I'm vetoing something I just agree to. And I never said to anyone in the negotiation room that the two paths would be linked or tied to each other, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 slit tied together, but I want them to be done together. <laughs> Here we go. He's walking it back, but now he's coming forward. And I've encouraged everyone to finish them together. And I would like to see them both on my desk at the same time for me to sign them in the law. And here we go. <laughs> Get ready to walk really far forward. And I told Chuck Schumer, 
you know, Speaker of the House, uh, you know, uh, Majority Leader of the Senate, to have them call for a vote at the same time. <clears throat> I've encouraged Chuck to do that. Now, how far did he walk it for? Well, guess what? There's a surprise. And the surprise is Chuck and Nancy. Now, do you think that Chuck Schumer, who over two years watched Mitch McConnell throw Democratic bills from the House into the floor, into the garbage can every time they landed on the Senate floor, do you think Chuck Schumer is going to call something for a vote that's for Mitch first before Chuck's own stuff? Of course not. That's just selling us. So the two paths will start in the Senate. And do you think that Chuck Schumer is going to call the vote for the bipartisan before he calls for the vote for the recon? Of course not. So what the president basically said is, I'm encouraging Chuck to go do it this way. Of course Chuck is going to do it that way. He's not going to call bipartisan stuff before his own stuff. It's just, come on already. Uh, but here is the real surprise. Out of nowhere, your villainous of 2020, your dark villainous, the dragon host, the the uh, the lava lamp person themselves is suddenly your hero of 2021, your Laura Croft of 2021. Who is she? The Temple of Doom. The Temple of Doom. What did she say? She said Thursday, and she has not walked back her comments, nor has any intentions of walking back her comments. If you try to pass bipartisan only in the Senate, and not recon. And you send me bipartisan only to the House and not to the not the recon as well. I will throw the bipartisan in the garbage can. <laughs> there you go. She's basically saying, "I need my bipartisan. Give me my bipartisan. And if you only give me recon, if you only excuse me, I just messed that up. I need my recon. I need my recon. And you must send me my recon. And if you only send me bipartisan, I am throwing it in the garbage." Oh my goodness. Now that's wonderful news. So how is the process going to start? Senate to House. Starts in the Senate and goes to the House. Both will be called for a vote in the Senate. Both will go to the House. And finally, finally, the, the nuances of all this are coming so clear that the fort around recon that had been developing in recent weeks became so much clearer when they got stuff that was had nothing to do with recon out of it, into the bipartisan. Now, if two pass away, and away we go, there would be three potential bills, recon procedural, recon substantive, and bipartisan. They can get this all done by July to get you checks in July. Finally, Purple Power Push. On Friday's noontime, one viewer, WR, went over and above and did what you should be doing as well. What did he do? He took my advice and picked up the phone. Didn't leave a voicemail. He spoke to a live person. Who'd he call? Santa Coons' office. Who's Santa Coons? The Democratic senator from Delaware, Joe Biden's closest confidant. Actually a member of the bipartisan caucus. And what did he say? He spoke to the secretary in Senator Coons' office in D.C. and expressed to him, her or him why it was important to have multiple stimulus checks. Made the, story, made the pitch, explained his narrative, explained his situation. And at the end of the conversation, the secretary said, yes, Santa Coons is currently writing up legislation for that monthly stimulus check. Wow. That's what W.R. wrote in the live chat. Now, if you're listening to that, this is not an opportunity for you to put your feet up on the lazy, bear ch lazy boy chair and take a second donut and start eating that donut as well. No, because you need to be doing the same thing. Imagine in a, in a live chat right now as you're watching and all the people that are in that live chat. Imagine how many people will watch this only video, just this video alone by the end of the day. If nearly just half of the video viewers in this video pick up the phone and call their Democratic senators today and say... The same thing that WR said, but also with your own story, with your own narrative behind it. Imagine the effectiveness of it. Before you pick up the phone, think about what you want to say. 
why your situation is unique. Maybe you lost your job. You can't find a new job. Maybe your town, all the businesses have shut down. There's no new businesses. Maybe they shut down the factory and the factory hasn't come back. Why is your situation so unique that you need to explain everyone needs these monthly stimulus checks? Think it through before you pick up the phone and call your Democratic senator. And if you have no Democratic senators, you only have Republican, then call another state. Call Warren, call Sanders, call Coons. Call the Democratic senators and explain your position. That is the true spirit of the purple power, not sitting back and saying, where is my check? Pushing to get it across the board. Also continue your purple power push on social media as well. And with that, stay with this video because it will automatically take you into Overnight's Crypto now playing on this channel. Within six seconds after this video is done, you're going to Overnight's Crypto. And subscribe, 400,000 subscribers or YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes. Every like really helps. And consider becoming a member. And also, uh, by becoming a member, get access to all that money that you can get under third, fourth, and fifth stimulus. Stay with me, join me on Overnight's Crypto, and next see me on Mornings Ally. Stay informed, stay focused, and have a beautiful Monday, and stay with Ally.